Which leads us to the contract signing for the pay-per-view main event. Dark Order and the Elite banned from the building. They're shown being let out. Take you get your bags and go. And they, they both depart. So they're out there, the contract's there, and I should have seen it coming as soon as they were all escorted out. Mm-hmm. Took a long time. So Page says there's really not much to say. He signs his contract, he passes it over. Omega, of course, has things to say. He's a little sad about all of this. They were friends. They were like family. All of this, he gestures to the, the All Elite Wrestling crowd, all of this was meant for you. And if it wasn't for your insecurities, Hangman Page, you'd be here right now. But it was never you when you talk about getting back up on that horse, all that cowboy stuff you talk about. It was never you. It was always us who picked you up and put you out of your sorrows and put you back on that horse. And Page says, you know what? Maybe I've had some insecure issues, but... As I recall, you had another tag team partner, and you felt you didn't measure up against him either. And as Brian noted earlier, everyone knew exactly who was talking about, and it was like when CM Punk called Eddie a bum. When he said you were insecure about your other partner, they all went, oh, he's talking about Ibushi. So Hangman admits that Omega may have surpassed Ibushi. So the biggest lie you ever told was last year at Full Gear. You beat me, and as I lay on the mat... He laid down, knelt down, and said, you were proud of me. And that was a lie, Kenny Omega. You weren't proud of me. You're afraid of me, because you knew I was going to come back and be the one to beat you. He said, good job, hanger. Good job, hanger. I'm proud good of you. Good job, hanger. Yeah. That's how you know it's true, by the way. Call him hanger. So they called hang men back in the day? Hanger? I can, I, 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 Let's go play poker with old hanger. I, I guarantee you it's what Kenny Omega calls hangman page. Hanger. So Omega says, that's not true, that's not what I said, but listen, the time we're talking is done. I just want to shake your hand one last time. And Hangman looks him in the eye, keeps an eye on him, but he's, for, for old time's sake, he's willing to shake the man's hand, and Omega says, let's kill it at the pay-per-view, man to man. And the handshake is done, and Omega turns and adds, good job, Hangman, I'm proud of you. You should have said Hanger. And Hangman's pissed about this. He takes his eye off the ball. And then one of the cameramen had passed in front of another cameraman. So you knew something was up. And the something was the cameraman was Don Callis in disguise. He wallops Hangman with a camera. Hangman goes down in gigs. And they hold him up. And Omega signs the contract in Hangman's blood. Do they... I, I don't know if they did it on purpose or not. But like... Right when they were going to do the handshake, this fucking cameraman just wandered in a frame. I was like, what the fuck? What do they have two cameramen in the ring for? There's always one cameraman in the ring in the corner. And then the other cameramen are on the ground and the other one's in the hard cam. The, uh, uh, the, the, other one, the other camera's hard cam. So in order to have the cameraman stumble into frame, you've got to have two cameramen in the ring. And as soon as this dude stumbled into frame, I knew exactly where this was going. And... Sure enough, it's Don Callis, and he whacks him, and first he tears off his, his hat or whatever. He's got this horrific facial hair. It, it, it is a Mirror Universe Star Trek beard, yes. I was praying that he had grown it out while he was gone, because, of course, all of the elite had the horrible facial hair, till the Bucks Wise told him to shave that shit off, and then, you know, Kenny kept it. So I thought, man, Callis has just got to have a hor But then he tore it off. Because he's a heel, and then he's whacking this guy, and Kenny signs the contract in Hanger's blood. Man, what an angle. This is how you do a contract signing. You do it once in a blue moon, and it's just like simple and to the point. Both guys get to get their shit in, talking-wise. Then you have a little bit of violence, lay out the baby face, get some heat going into that pay-per-view. I thought this was great. I thought this was a great... I mentioned this on Observer Live. Earlier, it was like a year ago. Might have even been like last full gear for all I know. They had a go-home show for the pay-per-view, and it was like all video packages and talking and short matches and like no good wrestling to speak of. And I remember being super disappointed by this go-home show, and they never did that again. Now, this was a go-home show. We got all of our interviews, all of our angles, all of our video packages, and like four fucking great matches. This was a, a go-home show like for the ages, quite frankly. 
I don't know how the show's going to do, but... There were points in the show where I thought there's a chance, wrestling-wise, that this episode of Dynamite may be better than Full Gear. And when I really thought about it, that's not going to be true. No. Full Gear will be better than this. But it tells you how awesome this episode was. That thought even crossed my mind. I will say the main event, we talked about this, I think it was in the uh, this the Q&A on Sunday. Like for, Before I even get into this, none of this matters. There was nothing they could do in the segment that was going to change anyone's mind about whether or not they were going to get the pay-per-view. If you were going to buy it, you're going to buy it. If you weren't going to buy it, nothing they could do here going to change your mind. So it doesn't, it doesn't matter what they did here. They did This angle was fine. It's not what I would have done. I would have ended this with Hangman standing tall, convincing people on Sunday, he's on a roll, he's unstoppable, he achieves his ultimate goal on Sunday. He already had the heat, he's been hating Omega for months now, he's had the title shot delayed, he's supposed to get it in the summer. It's not what I would have done. Again, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But that's not what I would have done. Anyway, that episode was awesome. I'd have done this. Because you know what? For some reason, I don't even know why, there are people that aren't sure if Hangman is going to win. And to me, I'm certain this guy is going to win. I can't imagine him failing so many times for so long over so many years, and then he loses again. I'd be flabbergasted. I mean, you could do it if you want to, like... And we were we were arguing about it before... Lex uh, Luger. Yeah, before... Um, was it All Out in Chicago? Yeah. All, all In. All In Chicago. Um there was some debate about whether or not Hangman, when he, when he had the title shot, uh, whether she, he should have won on that show. And I was in the people saying, he needs one more loss. Well, he had it. He lost that trios match. That's his one more loss. Now is the time. This is when you pull the trigger. Well, so my point is, because there are people that, that think that he could lose, I'm totally fine with putting something in there to, to sow further seeds of doubt in their head. I guess so. Because if, if you're doing a match, like... You know, sometimes, yes, you want to just tell the people, buy the show, you're going to see the championship change, blah, blah, blah. But, like, if you want, you know, deep emotion, you want people that think that he's going to lose. And you want people to think he's going to win. And you want you want all of that going into the match. So I was totally fine with this, this angle here. We have one more. Oh, we do? Yeah. This is from uh, TL. There's nothing scary about you, chap. No matter how dangerous of a technician, you look more like a male anesthetician cocking your chest out with that definition. No, I don't mean Zack Saber, supporter of labor. He's one of the best. I'm talking about that man with no heart, Brian Alvarez, the real chicken chest. I'm disgusted. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.